Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Beyond Horizon. This is Nidhi. Today we are going to see about how to create a composite model and how to use the existing built-in model of the advisor and the government. Let's go on. So this is the six bus system which is considered and this is the generator frame where we have a generator, an excitor and a governor. Now we need to create a composite model for this. So you have to open the data manager and here you have to go into your project which is six bar and double click it. And here you have this library. You have to double click this and here you have the user defined. You have the frame which is already existing because once the frame is created only we can create a composite model. So here you have to place in the existing files which is already built in in the big island that is the exciter that is the area and also the governor which all these models are already inbuilt. So now how to go and take those models. Now you have to go to this database and library so double click here and then you have standard models. So for example here you can choose any model of your your choice, any AVR model. So here, for example, I am choosing AVR EXSDB and copying it, and then bringing to your model and your library. As I said earlier, you have to place and go to the library, go to user defined models, and here you have to paste it. So your user defined model is already here. Then again you have to go here. Now you want to choose in the standard models you need to choose a governor. So here you can choose any governor of your type. So for example here I choose a governor maybe this governor I copy it and then again go to the six bus system library and you see the find model and here i just paste it okay so close this and now here again go to this open model here six bus then go to network model go to network data and go to grid and here you can create a composite model so here you can right click it go to new and other here it will be asking for whatever you want to create so here you can create a composite model and do ok so it will ask so now you have to select the frame because once you make the frame only you can do the composite model so so select the frame do ok and now here you have to select the element so here you have to select the element so which generator you want so i'm choosing generator one and i'm doing ok and here now i want to use the built-in model which is already we have uploaded to our library in user design so here you click here and right click give new element type so it will bring, go to this page so you can click this and do ok and here you have to enter the parameters. For now, I'm not entering the parameters because it is your choice and it is according to your model. So I'm entering the I'm just leaving it as zero and I'm just giving it OK. And now you have to choose the governor. So again, right click new. So you choose the governor and do OK so that all the parameters will be displayed here. So you can change the parameters according to your control and do OK and do OK. So your composite model is created. So you can close it and then you can proceed for the, the same load flow analysis, short circuit analysis and if you have dynamic simulation, you can have to calculate the initial condition, you have to calculate the, you have to start the simulation and then you can see the simulation plot. This is how you have to create a composite 
model in the assignment provided the thing is that your block definition sh should be correct and then once your block definition is correct your framework should be correct and once your framework is correct the composite model when you click on to the generator frame everything will be listed if the block definition and if your framework is wrong your composite model will not show all the displayed values like when you click on to the frame automatically it frame generator exciter and governor but when your frame frame is not correct or your block definition is not correct your those drop down menus will not come so please make your block definition and your framework correctly so that you can make your composite model and go on to your simulation enjoy have a nice day thank you very much please like share and subscribe and do comment on the video so that it will help me to improve better and please subscribe to beyond horizon thank you